So if you're frustrated with having to lift up your computer and shake your computer and all that, please stay tuned and see how this works out for you. Hello everyone, welcome to TechCraft Studio. And today I'm gonna to be making an informal video on how to power flush your water loop. So what I noticed is some people need to lift up their cases and they need to shake the PC to get all of the coolant out. And I figured there has to be a better way. And I gave it a try on this loop right here and it looks like it works pretty well. So I'm in the middle of upgrading this PC and I'm gonna be going over the details on this PC and the upgrade in another video next week. But for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna be just recording on how to flush your loop. So today we're gonna to be flushing this loop right here. And what's different about this loop, and it may be different for you, is I have two different drain loops here. So I have one for the first half of the radiator and then I have a second one right here for the other half of the radiator. So the idea behind this is I wanted to drain as much coolant as I could, but what I noticed is that there's still some remnants of coolant even after draining all of this. So with a loop that is as complex as this, I figured a power assisted water pump would be better. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna drain this loop without any power assisted pump right here and then we'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. And what I did is I connected the pump right here to this part of the loop and this is gonna be going into the bucket right here and I filled this with three gallons of distilled water and I recommend going with only distilled water. You don't wanna use tap water and it will introduce contaminants into your loop. So the idea behind this is you pump distilled water into your loop until it flushes out all the old coolant into this bucket right here, which is attached to the other end of the loop. And in your case, if you only have one drain loop, you may need to plug it into the top of your reservoir right here. So when you pump it, through your drain loop, it will go up and through your reservoir and out into this bucket right here. So this one I have an 800 gallon per an hour aquarium pump and I'll link this in the description below. And I have the head right here attached to a clear tube, which is the same diameter that is used to attach to these ends right here. And these fittings are EKWB. You guys are free to choose whichever fitting you use. There's no specific fitting that works best here. So in the next shot, I'm going to put this on a tripod and we're gonna see how this loop and this flush cycles through the blue coolant and you guys will see this turn clear. Okay, so we just finished flushing the loop. The loop seems to be pretty clear. So I would say this is a pretty good job well done. 
And I would of course say attempt this at your own risk. This is not something that is risk free. There's always the chance of leaks springing up when you least expect it. So what we just did is we pumped three gallons of distilled water through the loop and that was enough to clear up the loop and here is the waste water. Okay, so that is how you flush your loop with some power assisted pump and thanks for watching. Please like this video if you like what you see today. It will help me tremendously so I can continue to do what I am doing today. And also, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and I'll see you next week.